Hey students, Mr. Bergen here, and I am going to be walking on the floor, and I wanted to say hello, and you're probably going to see mostly my feet, so I am so happy you're in this course, and we're going to be learning a lot of scratch programming, and that combines with learning math. So the first thing you got to know is that when you go around a circle, it's 360 degrees, 360 degrees. 360. And the fact that there are 365 days in a year, that's not a coincidence. Now you're only going to see my feet, but I'm starting right here where this balloon is, and I'm walking around the square. So I go forward a few steps, and then I turn. But I don't know how much I turn. I go forward, and I turn, my second turn. I go forward and I turn and that's my third turn and now I'm at home plate. Four turns, four of them, and they made 360 because the magic number around the circle is 360. So four goes into 360. You know the answer, you've got math skills. Four goes into 360 90 times. Therefore, each angle in a square is 90 degrees. And so the scratch formula for drawing a square is turning four times, repeating four times, and doing 90 degrees at each corner of the square, four times 90. I'm going to take away one of the belts, and we're going to make a triangle. Okay, and it's not just a regular triangle, any old triangle, it's an equilateral triangle. An equilateral, lateral is a pass to the side in football, a lateral, equilateral means three equal sides. Now all I know is that going around the circle is 360 degrees. One circle is 360. So here's home plate where this balloon is, and now I'm going to go forward a bunch of steps, walking on one of the sides, turning, but I don't know how many degrees, walking the same number of steps, second turn, walking, and third turn. So three turns added up to 360 degrees. So if three turns is 360, then each turn must have been 120 degrees. So each turn of the triangle, I turn my body 120, three times, that means 360. But what about the inside angles of the triangle? The inside tri angles of the triangle have to be 60. So the body's turning 120 degrees, and there are those two sides of the equilateral triangle meet, it's exactly 60 degrees. So the scratch formula for a triangle is gonna be what? Repeat three, forward 20 steps, right turn 120. And three turns of 120 make an equilateral triangle. Okay, I'm going to make it harder now. I'm going to go five sides. That's even hard to lay out on the floor. Five sides is called uh, what? You know it because it's a famous building in Washington, D.C. A five-sided famous building in Washington, D.C. where the Defense Department has its headquarters is called a Pentagon. P-E-N-T. Pentagon. Okay, so I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to make a five-sided figure of these belts on the floor. I'll call that good enough. That's a pentagon. I'll pretend I don't know the angle to turn for the pentagon. But what do I know? A circle is, you say it, 360. So now I walk a few steps. And I turn once. I walk a few steps and I turn a second time. I walk a few steps and I turn a third time. 
I walk a few steps, and I turn a fourth time. I come back to home plate, and I turn for the fifth time. So I made five equal turns. Five equal turns that add up to 360. Always 360. Five goes into 360. Use a calculator if you want. Use a computer or do it on paper. Five goes into 360 72 times. Five times 72 is 360. So that means my body turned 72 degrees at each corner. It doesn't mean the inside angle is 72. In fact, if you're smart, you can see this inside angle here is bigger than 72. It's the amount you turn at each corner. So the program for the Pentagon is repeat five, forward 20, right turn 72. Why 72? Because five times 72 is 360. And if you're smart and you see that this is 180 degrees, if the outside turn was 72, the inside angle of a pentagon is 108. Why 108? Because a straight line is 180. And if this is 72 on the outside, 72 plus what equals 180? 72 plus 108 equals 180. Now that should be enough for you to do any pentagon. So you can do a triangle, equilateral triangle, a square, a pentagon, and you should be able to do the following. We'll find out from your homework. But can you do a hexagon? If I make six sides here, what's each angle gonna be? Can you do a heptagon? That's seven sides. Can you do an octagon? That's eight sides. And here's a really hard one. Could you do a 36-agon? Could you make it walk a 36-sided figure? I don't have that many belts. 36 sides. You can because a circle is what? 360. So 36 goes into 360 10 times. So here's your scratch formula. Repeat 36 times, left turn 10. And those two commands Make it be a 36-sided figure, and you'll be amazed at what a 36-sided figure looks like. Because it doesn't look much like a polygon. But that's the key for doing circles and curves. Okay, this is Mr. Bergen signing off. Right? I want you to work hard at this course. I want you to read. I want you to watch the videos. Watch them twice if you want. And I want you to tell me when you need help. Right? If you're a sponsor, part of your role is to help me know when the student needs help. I'm not psychic, but I'll make a phone call and do screen share whenever you need help. So whether you, the student, send me an email, or you, the sponsor, send me an email, I'll arrange a time in the next 24, 40 hours when I can talk on the phone and do screen share and look at the work that you that you as a student are doing all right mr bergen signing off bye everybody